do you find yourself hesitating in front of other speakers you know your friends and family office colleagues who speak better and fluent english than you do maybe they have grown up in convent environment in a big metro city and now you come from a tight city and you're wondering what can i do to sound and speak as confident and fluent english as these people and you may be wondering if there is even a way to go about and actually improving learning english at your age well the first thing i'm going to say is that yes definitely yes you can improve your spoken english fluency at any age and you can do it starting today now here are four steps i would suggest you to take into your mind and hearts when you're getting started and you feel like you find yourself being intimidated by better speakers around you keep these four steps in the mind so first of all set realistic goals what i want you to do is not to force yourself to become the best on the speaker in your office or in your family the, on the very first day of yours that's never going to work it's going to put too much pressure onto you you're going to be very cautious of any single mistake that you can do and you will realize quickly that you would break down instead rather what you want to do is to break it down into more manageable goals and you are realistic goals you want to identify what you're good at today and from there what is the one percent improvement looks like you want to see that okay i can speak for 30 seconds you want to make it to something like 45 seconds of continuous nonstop of speaking in english once you're able to achieve that we'll go to the next level and then the next level and the next level but each step pro progression has to happen in steps and not a huge jump aiming for that huge jump will only result in you getting your legs breaking down and losing the confidence for the rest of the life second don't be afraid to make mistakes you would be realized that how little other people may be paying attention to you and if they do that attention wouldn't last for long so do not let yourself be undertaken by the fear of making mistakes making mistakes is how you learn once you do a mistake you'll realize you'll do mistakes more often than not and when you do realize those mistakes what you're going to do is actually you know go back and revise the concepts and recognize how and where you could have done it better in cases when your mistake is pointed out by people you thank them and you let them know for you know your gratitude for finding those mistakes because now you can work on those mistakes you know what other people find flaws in you and how you can correct it and third i would say is that prepare before speaking and that's like the must like i have been saying this in every video of mine that is preparation 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 is the key public speaking is a performing art you're going to do it in front of the people you got to prepare in advance so that you do not get jitters you do not get awkward you do not get shy you do not get cold feet you go out there and you perform the way it was intended to be now everything will not come out as choreographed as in the practice room but it will be very close and even if it doesn't it just gives you the confidence and the balance on how to move forward and communicate the entire speech and not just break down and quiver with fear wondering what else to say the best way to learn is to learn from others. Be an active listener. Recognize what words people are using, how they're inflecting the tone and the syllables, how they are using vocabulary and grammar and match them together, or how they did learn vocabulary and grammar despite coming from a non-English country. So being an active listener is a great bonus point all around, and that will help you become better at English compared to the other speakers around you. And those are the four suggestions from my side. Now, I would recommend that you go ahead and try these ideas and let me know in the comment section. I would love to read what you guys are telling me. Besides that, please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And that really helps the channel. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do one specific kind of a video. Thank you.